in the beginning, I, I had very much help from different people. For instance, Elgar Howarth, who is both an old trumpet player and also a conductor, and a conductor who works very much with modern music and has many connections with composers. Elgar Howarth was, of course, brought up in a brass band. His father was a band leader in... The... It was just outside Manchester, a town called Eccles, where the cakes come from. And my father took over the um, factory band. It was a world that was quite unknown to me. We have bands in Sweden also, but they don't have a tradition sociologically in the same way as the brass bands in England. What's fascinating, in a way, about the band world is that it's parochial. Each band is entire unto itself. The, the competition element is something which breeds this fierce rivalry, almost tribal. So he thought it would be a nice experiment to introduce me to that. And anyway, I played at their national championships at the Albert Hall. And I remember I was going to play one traditional cornet solo, which was the Rule Britannia Variations. chosen a very hard, very competitive field for himself and he's got to be at the peak of his potential to earn a living at it. And uh, his age group is like a professional footballer, he can't go on forever. I do think that we are an inherently very, very musical people and want to express ourselves in music. And I think that there is a natural tendency of, of British people to want to make music rather more than actually than to listen to it. <laughs> 